Oh, we oh. are so excited to have you. We're, We're so excited. excited. <laughs> we are loving the show. We saw on that clip the lovely Tom, wasn't that Tom? Yes. Oh. That was on the very first episode. That episode made me cry about 10 times <laughs> watching you guys because you, you transform the lives of these gentlemen. And it's not just how they look, it's, it runs much deeper than that, doesn't it? Tony? It does. Yeah, for us, it's... Uh... You know, it, it runs so much deeper because the original show was more about a whirlwind of a makeover. Yeah. It was yeah. redoing their place, redoing their clothes, their hair. But with us, we really wanted to make it different. We really wanted to get into the issues of why they were in the state they were in. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times when we get down on ourselves, we let that affect the atmosphere around us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we wanted to get into those issues, especially with this one. Yeah, <laughs> really good at that. <laughs> and not just be superficial, but really dive down deep. Well, what's interesting to me, because I've seen the whole series and I absolutely loved it, and I think that's all of you are cool. fantastic oh, in what you do. You. And the thing that's really nice about it, <laughs> thank right, you. that you not only you transform the lives of, of the, the men that you're looking into, but you actually also transform the lives of the families, the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. the towns. Yeah. Because, uh, Karamo, you take some of them away and talk to them, and you also divulge things about yourselves and your past to them. So it's not just about makeovers. You're, right. you're, you're changing people's lives and the perception of gay men and the LGBTQ community around the country well, in the US. Yeah, it was important for us to have culturally relevant conversations. Because for me, I think it's important that you have the hard conversations with yourself so that you can have the hard conversations with other people. And once you do that, we start to see that we're more alike. And that sometimes we've been beaten down by life. People have told us that you're not good enough, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get that job, you shouldn't be successful, and you start to believe it. And we say, clear all that clutter out in your life, with your families, and with your communities, because together we're stronger. Is there anything that any of you have learned about yourselves that you didn't know from the uh, any of the, the makeovers? I, you know, because you, you know, <laughs> yes. they not only do makeovers on people, but they actually did a great one with a fire station where you oh, did yes. the entire firehouse for the firemen, which was a great one also. But what have you learned about yourself that you didn't know? I've always thought that like I would consider myself a very vulnerable open person and I realize like just being with these guys with my new brothers Jonathan is in here by the way I know yes. we miss Jonathan. Jonathan. he's in LA we love him we get to see him next week we miss him dearly um, but I always thought that I was so open with my sexuality and I sort of realized like meeting someone like Jonathan or even like Karamo um, that it's this dynamic process that's sort of like ongoing and it never really does end and it just continues. So we're all so different. Mm -hmm. Our experiences could not be more different and we've been put into this situation together. But like having this common goal of like helping these people out just really, I don't know, it's been like such a life changing experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you didn't know each other before, were you put yeah. together? Yeah. Wow. You know, within the first five minutes of the very first day of casting, Tana Karamo and I were right beside each other. Mm -hmm. um, that's, we have a selfie from, I think, the first few minutes of casting. And then by the end of the very first day, Anthony and Jonathan, we were all kind of the Fab Five already. Just I had a... already yeah. started a group text called the Fab Five by the time <laughs> <laughs> And, Tan, you're British. I am. So, what's it like hanging out with all these Americans? It's amazing hanging out with the Americans. However, I've only been back for about five days. This is the first time I've been back since uh, the show aired. I've never felt more proud to be British. The, the acceptance, the love, the warmth that you guys Aww. have given me back home has been incredible. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And you guys have Nando's. We love Nando's. Oh, yeah. Three meals in a row and a four. We're always at Nando's. Very excited. I introduced them to Nando's just a couple of days ago. <laughs> you, you <laughs> need, they don't give it out anymore, but you need to get the special black card. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, Obviously, gentlemen, there are other chicken shops available. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes, there are. There are. There are. There are. I think we all deserve Not in my eyes. <laughs> Do you guys find there's a difference? Because uh, I, you know, I'm British, uh, born and uh, born in Scotland, and also uh, uh, living in the states. Do you find there's a difference, then, particularly with yourself, mm -hmm. the, in America, with the acceptance of being gay in the states and also being gay in the United Kingdom? Uh, I, I think it depends on what state you're in. Um, I think in the coastal states, it's a lot easy, easier to be yourself and express yourself. Um, I grew up in the north of England, uh, in, in South Yorkshire, and I definitely found that it was very difficult for me to be who I was. Um, I find it much easier to be myself in the US. Um, but I think things are changing. I think that every country has its pockets of uh, ignorance, and uh, we're hoping that we can continue on and on, season yeah. and season. Yeah. The second season is June 15th. Yeah, but yeah. what I think is great is that once people watch this show, they get to see that we're just like them. I'm a single father. Mm -hmm. Two of these guys are married. Mm -hmm. You know, we are just like everyone else. We exactly. just want to, uh, to love our families, to wake up smiling, to go after yes. our career. Yep. Yep. So we're no different than anyone John else. John hears it, he hears yeah, it. Yeah, you hear it. I've been preaching it a long yeah, time. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Thank you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.